Hey there, Mr. Thayer with you from the Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship with another grade three math lesson. Today we're looking at module three, lesson 21. We're going to solve two step word problems involving multiplying single digit factors and multiples of 10. All right. Like I always say, lots of words in those objectives, and we're going to make it very, we're going to simplify things. We're going to take a word problem, we're going to piece it out. We're going to do a little bit of multiplication, and we're going to solve a problem. We're going to do one question in a minute here, but to warm up, we're going to count by sixes, sevens, eights, and nines just to practice and make sure we have it. Here we go. So let's count by six all the way to 60. We have 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 48, 54, and 60. Let's go backwards. 60, 54, 48, 36, 30, 24, 18, 12, and 6. Very good. Let's count by 7s. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70. And backwards. 70, 63, 56, 49, 42, 35, 28, 21, 14, and 7. Counting by 6s and counting by 7s. Okay? Let's also do that. We're going to count by 8s and count, count by 9s. I know this is a review, but it's good to practice. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, and 80. 80, 72, 64, 56, 48, 40, 32, 24, 16, and 8. Counting by 8s. Let's count by 9s all the way to 90. Ready? 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, 90. 90, 81, 72, 63, 54, 45, 36, 27, 18, and 9. There is counting by 8s and 9s. It's a good review. It's a good way to get you guys practicing and still skip counting, making sure that we know those answers. And part 2 today is this. We're going to look at a word problem. Let's piece it out. It's going to have two steps to it. So we're not, not only are we going to solve the problem, but we're also going to have to answer a second question to make sure we can get the answer. All right. So here is the question. Let me get my markers ready for you here. And it says, Joe saves $30 each month for four months. Does he have enough money to buy art supplies? Okay. And right here it tells us that the art supplies cost $142. So they want to know Joe saves $30 each month each, each month for four months. Does he have enough money to buy art supplies? All right. So the two steps, the two things we have to do here are simple. We have to figure out how much money Joe saved in four months. And then we have to figure out if that's $142, if that was enough money for him to sell to get the art supplies. All right. All right. So first things first, we have, we know that Joe saves money, right? And he's been saving money for four months. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw four boxes, okay? And those are the months. We know he has been saving money for four months. How much money did he save each month? That's right. He saved $30 one month, $30 the second month, $30 the third month, and $30 the fourth month, okay? So over four months, he, sa he saved $30 each month. So let's turn that, that's a multiple of 10. So let's, let's turn that into a multiplication problem to figure out how much he saved. So $30 times four months, okay? So zero times four, we know is zero. And four times three gives us 12, 120. Okay, so Joe saved $120, all right? We solved the first part, 
Now we're going to solve the second part. Does he have enough money to get the art supplies? All right. So we have art supplies cost $142. And he earned a hundred and twenty dollars. Okay, and we subtract those. One hundred and twenty. We know one hundred and twenty is less than one hundred and forty-two, right? Just from looking at that, we know that that is less than that. So we already know that Joe does not have enough money to get those art supplies. Let's see how much he is missing though. If we subtract these two numbers, we can see that Joe needs 22 more dollars to get those art supplies. Okay? So look at what we did here. We took $30 for each month that he saved. He saved $120. The art supplies cost $142, so we knew that he was short. We knew he already didn't have enough money. He was $22 short when we subtracted it. So the best thing to think about here is if Joe saves money for one more month, if he saves another $30, he's going to have enough for his art supplies, right? Yep. All right. So that's a two-step problem there, okay? We got to understand what we're looking for here. We had to look at the multiplication first, and then we had to subtract and find the answer to the question. All right, and that answer was simple. He did not have enough money for those art supplies. He's going to have to work a little bit harder, work another month. All right, so head over to the exit ticket, check it out, work on those problems. I will provide feedback when I can. But uh, in the meantime, also make sure you're practicing counting by sixes, seven, eights, and nines. It'll make your math um, multiplication and division a lot easier knowing those numbers. All right, Mr. Thayer, you guys did a great job. I will see you guys tomorrow.